Hello everyone and welcome to this new XGS Lab video tutorial. This time we are going to see how it is possible to handle the post-processing procedures in the electromagnetic field calculation. In this case, for example, we have already seen for this project the first results and distributions. Now we are going to concentrate our attention in magnetic field and electric field for area and line calculation. Let's start with the area calculation. For example, first of all, we could concentrate our attention in the layout in a uh, quite specific area. So in this case, maybe it is better to highlight the background and use this tool to uh, draw a volume visualization quite uh, concentrated. Once we have done this, we can draw an area for the, for the calculation of the magnetic field. So the area can be set in many ways. For example, in this way, by drawing it, as you can see, or it could be also adjusted or anyway set by dialing the, um, the values directly in these boxes. So um, you can, we can do this, this, and this, for example, 3 meters as a step length and width, or plus 2. Consider also that the Z uh, coordinate is the, um, the height of the, uh, of the area. And as the hint says, if it is negative, it is above the soil surface. So minus 1 means 1 meter above the soil surface. Once we have set all these parameters, we can launch the calculation. And the calculation is, uh, let's say, uh, going to, uh, to last a time that is proportional to the number of the elements in the calculation in the project and to the uh, size uh, and the step of the, um, of the area calculation. Consider anyway that if the, calcul the area calculation is very long, you can save it once it is finished in order to keep it available for following calculations. So let's suppose that this calculation was very long, we could save it in XML um, format, we could uh, name it as we prefer, and save it. And if we open uh, another time, tomorrow or some, uh, someone else, uh, this project, we can load with this, um, with this button the calculation we have saved. Let's get back to the calculation itself. Uh, here we can see we have the possibility to to see what we have just calculated. So here, and since the area calculation is much smaller than the displayed area, we can also use this plus that um, zooms in a very effective way the uh, area calculation. Consider also that beyond this colorful uh, representation, we have also the contour representation. So we can uh, represent it in this way or in this other way. Uh, consider that the number of the levels uh, is uh, uh, customizable and you can customize it in the, um, <coughs> in the settings. If we get back to colors, we have also the chance to see in 3D what is the result. So we can see it and we can also rotate in this way. So the results of the area calculation can be rotated 90 degrees by 90 degrees. Moreover, uh, we can also represent not only the modulus as we have just done for all the images we have seen, but also the modulus or the real and the imaginary part for each component. So for example, we can see the modulus of the uh, X uh, component. So as you can see, it is very small. The component of the uh, Y component, so it is a bit higher, and the component of the Z-axis. 
and it is this one. And also all the different parts of the real part, the imaginary part. So you have the possibility to set a very, very detailed representation of what you have, uh, of what you have chosen. Moreover, consider that you have also this option, normal only. The normal only is uh, uh, an option that allows you to um, represent only the normal component of the field. In this case, um, in this case, the normal component is exactly the same, and it is obvious, of the Z uh, of the modulus of the Z component. But uh, anyway, with the normal only uh, option in the legend, where you have all the meaning of all the colors, and the maximum and the minimum about the values represented, with the normal only uh, option, you have also the magnetic flux through the surface you have set and the induced electromotive force along the um, perimeter of this surface. So you have the possibility to view also this kind of uh, uh, information. Consider, uh, finally, that if you uncheck the normal on the option, you go to limits, you set some limits for danger, let's suppose 10, and warning, let's suppose 3, we get back to the area calculation and we can see also the safe areas. The safe areas where the color code is clearly stated in the legend, so red uh, for a uh, value of the magnetic field above the danger level, uh, yellow for values between the warning and the danger value, green for below the warning value. Uh, finally, let's say you can also see that uh, you can export, so you can export in CSV format the results of this area calculation. So, if you want to represent these results in some other uh, graphical uh, format, you can do it. Again, about the magnetic field, we can also calculate the magnetic field on a vertical surface that we can draw. For example, in this way, we can set it by using these tools. So uh, we can set, for example, 33 degrees. We can uh, make it. Uh, we can make it vertical by setting 90 in beta, beta angle, and we can set this a bit smaller. Okay. We can set here, for example, 0 0.5 as a step and calculate. In this case, it is quite interesting to see the section of this area. Okay. So now we can set a maximum value represented, for example, of 500. We can represent in 2D if we want, or also clicking the zoom option, we can zoom it and we can see the magnetic field. We can also lower this maximum in order to uh, view a better resolution of all the uh, magnetic uh, field levels and also set the contours in order to have all the different contours. Consider that when you have the contour picture you have this option that is to say that you can export this contour in this XF file. So if you export this in the XF you can create a file with these curves and you could also import these uh, curves in the original file that you have used to create the model since the reference coordinate system is the same. So you could also make this kind of operation. Finally, let's go to the electric field. Everything is very similar. You can draw an area, like in this case. 
you can set it uh, one or let's say two meters at this time above the cell surface. <coughs> we can set uh, three as a step and calculate. Okay, we can view. We can zoom also the results, we can view in 3D and we can rotate like we did. Also in this case we have the chance to set some limits, so for example let's suppose that we have uh, a, um, a danger limit of uh, let's suppose 4000 and a warning limit of 2000 and uh, we can set for the safe areas this kind of uh, image. Finally, um, consider that there is also the line calculation that we, do, we didn't see for the uh, magnetic field. Mm, let's say that its working is very similar to the um, to the area calculation, the only difference is that now instead of a grid of points, we have a um, we have a, a um, sequence of points. So we can use this step, for example, calculate. Obviously, it is much faster. And uh, once the calculation is finished, we can represent what we have just calculated. And as you can see, also the limits are represented for the danger in red dashed line and for the uh, warning in yellow dashed line. In this case, consider that we could also represent more than one thing together. That is to say that we can represent the co different components uh, together. In this case, we can see that the, the modulus is given basically by the set component. And we can see, anyway, all the different components by also highlighting the real and imaginary part. Let's try to put also the uh, Y, but as said, only the Z can be seen because basically we are very close to the soil surface and the uh, predominant uh, component is the other one. So this is all also for this uh, video. I hope it has been useful to you and it is helpful to you for uh, using the software. See you next video. Bye bye.